Hey YouTube. All right. Well, I guess I'm recording a video. I'm trying to record as long as 15, maybe to 20 minutes. This coronavirus is really getting to me. Uh, man. I literally came back to Washington State because the person that I'm with wanted to come home because that's where he's from, is Washington State. And when I came back, I was hired on, you know, as a store manager to help an owner fix his store up, raise his sales. And within a matter of three months, I did that. I raised sales by 9%. When this coronavirus happened, I got sick. I did not know what the symptoms were. And they advised me to stay home, you know, and I called the owner and I told him, I said, I'm not going to be able to come in for a couple of days. I'm sick. I'm not feeling good. They told me to stay home until I got over it and to re return to work. He asked for a doctor's note. When I tried to go to the hospital to be able to get a doctor's note, they weren't seeing anyone because of the fact that the coronavirus was uh, hitting everybody in the emergency room. I am struggling financially. I've asked my family to help me. I've, you know... I've done as much as done Postmates. Uh, I've been hired at two different employee employment places. Got let go at both of them. It has been just downhill for me. Like this depression is like really starting to kick in. And I'm just doing my best not to let it. I've applied for unemployment. I was denied. I applied for unemployment again. I just don't know what else to do. You know, none of my family is helping me for the exception of my mom and dad, but they can only do so much. This is really, really frustrating. I don't, I don't know what else to do. And I really don't get a lot of views, but you know what? I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep trying, you know, because I'm going to try to... I want to try to reach at least 100 subscribers. I want subscribers. That's all I'm going for. I need feedback. I, I need, you know, I think part of me needs help. I'm doing my best not to lose it. But... Yeah, it's hard right now. I haven't reached my dreams. I haven't, I'm at a point in my life right now that I just, I'm just starting to like, I'm starting to shut down. I'm starting to just not care anymore. I'm just, I'm doing my best not to lose it, not to cry, not to, I'm like, I'm freaking out on the inside, I really am, I'm freaking out, I don't know how to edit these videos, I don't know how to do all that other stuff that these other people know how to do, I got a support system, but that doesn't pay the bills, I don't know what to do. I wish people would just point me in the right direction, guide me, because I've never really had any guidance in my life. Like, I haven't had anything at all whatsoever. And I'm not looking at the video or at the phone because if I just look at the phone and stuff like that and I'm going to, I'm just going to lose it. I'm going to lose it so bad. 
This is ridiculous. And yes, I am going to court. We are doing this. You know, um, I'm not letting this go. He offered me an X amount of dollars to stay and not go back to Las Vegas where I was living. And I did and he let me go because I got sick and now I'm struggling and no, I'm just, I'm not going to let this go. I need to do this. I'm freaking out. I really am. This damn coronavirus could not have come at a worse time, you know. But I blame the United States government. That's who I blame, and I just don't feel like they're doing enough. But then again, look who's in office. I really, really need some guidance. I really, I, I really... I really need somebody just to tell me what to do. Tell me what I need to do, where I need to go. I'm f stressing out. I'm freaking out. I'm just... The family who I thought loved me, the family who I thought would always be there for me, no matter what, in hard times, like what we're going through right now, is not, is not there. My mom and dad, like I said, are the only ones that have helped me out, and they just cannot, they can only do so much, and I'm not working right now. And this unemployment has not kicked in. I just don't know what else I'm supposed to do short of robbing a bank. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, and the person that I am with, of course, is, you know... has his mind in the gutter of what he thinks I'm doing out here. I'm recording a video. I'm gonna post it on YouTube. He just needs to get over it. He needs to leave me alone for a little while. I need to be by myself. This is so hard for me. Like, it's really getting close to, like, I'm really feeling like Maybe my relationship isn't really worth it right now. I don't know. I don't know. I love him. I really do. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I hope he does not come out here to bug me. I really do, because I just want to be by myself. I want to get back to work. I want to get back to my career, and I can't do that until everything is settled in court, and I'm not going to stop, and I'm going to go all the way, and I'm going to keep going. And the... Uh, I just, I can't say what I want to say because it is, everything is pending, everything is. <sighs> I'm stressing out. I'm really, really stressing out right now. It is what it is. The person that I'm with, you know, isn't really money motivated. He just wants to be on video games, and that's not what I need right now. I need him to 
step up and do what he's got to do to help me in this situation. And I just don't feel like he's doing it. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying not to, like, lose it. I really am. I'm trying not to. Anyway, I'm hoping that he does not come out here because really I don't want to deal with him right now. All he can do is be on those damn video games and it's annoying and it's irritating. And I haven't heard anything about my unemployment. I haven't heard anything from my attorney. I haven't heard any I haven't heard anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I need help. I need help financially. I need help emotionally. I just I need help. I need guidance. I've never been in this situation before. I've always been one step ahead of the game, so to speak. I even thought about doing a GoFundMe page on Facebook, but I tried one time for my birthday and it didn't even work. It didn't work at all. And I wasn't really asking for much. You know, just birthday money. And it was like maybe seven, eight years ago when I did it. No, I take that back. I got $1 from a friend of mine in Texas. You know, and yeah, it was a dollar, but I thanked my friend, and I was very grateful, and so forth, but. I'm stressing, I'm struggling, I just don't know what to do. And there's really no one that can help me at all, whatsoever, nobody. <laughs> No one that will help me. And any part of my family that is able to help me won't. Won't at all. I really do hope that everybody else out there is doing a whole lot better than I am. And if you have any advice for me, please leave me a comment. Please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel, too. Give me a thumbs up. I don't care what it is. Just leave me a message or something. I know he's in there and I know he's thinking about coming out here and that's like, that annoys me to no end, no end. I don't even want to go back in there. And he, he sees this as a joke, he's, you know, that's what's so frustrating and then some tells me all the time he doesn't care and I'm like what am I doing with somebody that doesn't care I don't get it how are you gonna go through life not caring I just I can't fathom you know a, somebody just not caring about what direction their life goes And I used to be that way myself, but I had to grow up and I had to learn, and I did. 
At least I thought I did. That was a text message. Anyway, please comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later.